we could be heroes. About 90 athletes, para athletes, and support staff gathered at Olympic House today as part of SASCOC's official team announcement for the Birmingham Games. The Games will run from the 28th of July to August the 8th. Team South Africa has a healthy mix of youth and experience, and the youngsters in the team are raring to compete on the international stage. I'm, I'm quite excited. It's the first time at a bigger stage competing, competing with big teams, and I can't wait to represent the country. South Africa placed sixth at the previous Games in Australia's Gold Coast, bagging 37 medals, including 13 gold, and hope to improve on that result. Tatiana Schoonmarker, who claimed two of those gold medals in the 100 and 200 meter breaststroke, is still a serious medal contender, but she is now also one of the more senior members of the team. I think it's weird to be the senior right now. Um, I remember last time I was one of the juniors, um, first Commonwealth Games, so it is a bit of a different mindset. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can just be yourself and um, yeah, try and bring the calmness into it because you know how it felt when you were there for the first time and the nerves and stuff. So yeah, just showing them that it's okay and um, that you should rather have the nerves as the excitement as then the nerves then bringing you down and taking away your energy or something. <laughs> The netball team finished fifth at the 2018 Games and are ranked fifth on the world rankings. Captain Bongim Somi, who has done the green and gold since 2011, is determined that this is the year for the Proteus to bring home some silverware, especially before South Africa hosts the Netball World Cup in Cape Town next year. I really feel like it, it is the netball's year and I'm saying this because we came really close a couple of times where we would lose you know, one of the, to one of the top countries by one or two goals and this time around we are very much aware of that and we've been trying to, you know, um, to work on how do we then get to a like, last two minutes and we're behind by two goals and just to come up and finish the game really strong. So this is actually going to be exciting because we're looking forward to break through from where we were stuck before. Let us live and strive for freedom. The rest of the squad, including the athletics team, will be announced before the end of the month. Samantha Mari, SABC News.